let's go into the concept of dilution okay here we are not anymore uh, talking about what happens during the master batch manufacturing process here we are talking about what happens during your cable manufacturing process what happens when you produce a cable and you use master batches and the way we define it um, is uh, it is a process by which a master batch is incorporated into the compound in the plastics transformation process in this is this case in the extrusion process for the cable production and a well diluted master batch provides perfect color homogeneity and highest first time quality okay uh, but the quality of dilution uh, depends on different factors some factors are related to the master batch uh, like uh, the formulation and the pellet size which is the, the the key point that we are trying to make today in this uh in this presentation but the dilution process also depends on other factors like the base compound what is the formulation of the base compound that also influences the dilution process because dilution process at the end is the incorporation of color and compound therefore the compound plays a role in that process other factors also influence the dilution process and the incorporation process of color into the base compound during your extrusion process which are things like the type of equipment that you're using in terms of dosage machines in terms of which extruders you're using what extruder extruder head you're uh, using etc and then also another important factor are the production parameters that you use be it temperature uh, a speed a pressure and other factors so it's a mix of factors uh, dilution is a complicated science so many factors playing into it but from the master batch viewpoint um, it's a question of size of the pellet and formulation of the master batch okay um, of course uh, rapid dilution increasing the speed of dilution the uh, quicker melting process uh, allows for higher speed cable production that's of course the the, the key benefit here okay so i'm going to run now a video uh, that uh, we have prepared uh, which uh, talks about uh, which which shows a simplified version of a cable manufacturing process if you like and then i will uh, whilst i run this video i will uh, uh, explain a little bit about dilution and uh, and uh, and how the dilution process happens with standard pellets and with uh, small small pellets uh, reduced pellets so here we go so here we have uh the ingredients for the cable manufacturing process the compound and the master batch in your dosage system okay as you can see the difference in size for the pellets of the compound and the pellets of the color is not so big there's not a big difference in terms of size if the extruder is short and the uh, uh, speed is high the dilution this process of melting of the color into the compound uh, may not be perfect and therefore the cable that you produce here you see the extruder head and here the cable being the, the layer being uh, produced on the cable here you have the first uh, laser which measures the outer diameter of the cable this is a, a very simplified uh, 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 film okay um, here you have the cooling uh, basin this is this would be a thermoplastic manufacturing process pvc based uh, uh, cable for example and then you have the other measurement of the outer diameter. We also have included a spark test because there are many of our customers are automotive manufacturers which uh, use the spark test. But basically in this case, the process was so quick and the batches were rather big, the master batches, the, the color master batches were rather big. They did not allow uh, to dilute well and therefore you have this not uniform uh, color on the surface. You have kind of color waves or stripes or smears they are called. Instead, if you use small sized pellets, uh, 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 micro pellets or small micro pellets or micro beads, uh, 
the red example are the micro pellets in PVC and the green example are micro beads in polyolefin based. In this case, you will see that the difference in terms of size between the pellets of the compound and the pellets of the master batch is, is big. They are very small. The color uh, batches are very small as compared to the compound batches. They therefore melt quicker. It's also a question of the formulation, as we said, but it is mainly a question of the size. They melt quicker. And as they melt quicker, they incorporate better, creating an, a homogeneous color. And this then turns out to be very clearly visible at the cable produced. The cable that comes out has a homogeneous uh, color regularity, a homogeneous surface, so a, a much better finish. So this is a, a very clear quality factor uh, that you achieve uh, thanks to the smaller sized pellets.